Gresham's law is a monetary principle stating that bad money drives out good. It is a concept primarily used for consideration and application in currency markets. For example, if there are two forms of commodity money in circulation which are accepted by law as having similar face value, the more valuable commodity will gradually disappear from circulation. The law is named after Sir Thomas Gresham, an English merchant, financier and founder of the Royal Exchange. Henry VIII had changed the composition of the English shilling, replacing a substantial amount of the silver with base metals. Gresham's consultations with the Queen explained that people were aware of the change and began separating the English shilling coins based on their production dates to hoard the coins with more silver which, when melted down, were worth more than their face value. Gresham observed that the bad money was driving out the good money from circulation. This phenomena had been previously noticed and written about in ancient Greece and medieval Europe. The observation was not given the formal name Gresham's Law until the middle of the 19th century when Scottish economist Henry Dunning MacLeod named it after Gresham. Under Gresham's Law, good money is money that shows little difference between its nominal value, the face value of the coin, and its commodity value, the value of the metal of which it is made, often precious metals, nickel or copper. Good money is the one which is more stable in value or money which is undervalued. On the other hand, bad money is money that has commodity value considerably lower than its face value and is in circulation along with good money, where both forms are required to be accepted at equal value as legal tender. Bad money loses value rapidly. Logically, people will choose to use bad money for business transactions and hold balances of good money because good money has the potential to be worth more than its face value. Gresham's law states that if two coins are in circulation in an economy whose relative face values differ from their relative bullion content, the dearer coin will be extracted from circulation. The bad money dominates the market in terms of circulation. People prefer to spend the bad coins and hoard the good coins. For example, in India we have 1 rupee notes and 1 rupee coins. Both are forms of legal tender. Yet, the public sometimes prefer one form of a particular denomination to another. Example, they may prefer the rupee coin to the paper note. If there is such a preference for one form of money rather than another, it is an example of Gresham's law in operation. In fact, one might call Gresham's law something of a special case of natural selection itself, survival of the fittest. Hoarding People hoard the good money or valuable coins and pass out the bad. Hence, good coins tend to remain out of circulation. Melting The good coins are usually melted down and sold as bullion. Besides being melted down for its bullion value, Money that is considered to be good tends to leave an economy through international trade. International traders are not bound by legal tender laws as citizens of the issuing country are, so they will offer higher value for good coins than bad ones. The good coins may leave their country of origin to become a part of international trade, escaping that country's legal tender laws and leaving the bad money behind. Gresham's law plays out in the modern-day economy for the same reasons that it was observed in the first place. Legal tender laws In the absence of effectively enforced legal tender laws, Gresham's law tends to operate in reverse. Good money drives bad money out of circulation because people can decline to accept the less valuable money as a means of payment in transactions. In short, in the absence of legal tender laws, the seller will not accept anything but money of certain value, good money, but the existence of legal tender laws will cause the buyer to offer only money with the lowest commodity value, bad money, as the creditor must accept such money at face value. The reverse of Gresham's law, that good money drives out bad money whenever the bad money becomes nearly worthless, has been named Thiers' law, in honour of French politician and historian Adolphe Thiers. Gresham's law also cannot operate when the total volume of currency, good money together with bad money, is less than what is needed by the community for exchange purposes. In such a situation, both good money and bad money will circulate. Gresham's law is relevant in global currency markets and international trade as well. In global markets, strong currencies such as the US dollar or the euro 
which hold relatively more stable value over time, good money, tend to circulate as international media of exchange and are used as international pricing references for globally traded commodities. Weaker, less stable currencies, bad money, of less developed nations tend to circulate very little outside the boundaries and jurisdiction of their respective issuers to enforce their use as legal tender. Thank you for watching our video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Check out our channel for more informative videos.